Hello, this is the IntelliGel Metropolis tuning video. Years ago, in general internet travels looking for badasses and shit on YouTube, I came across this guy showing off a new type of sequencer for something called Eurorack. It certainly does sound like he's from Europe anyway. He's moving these sliders and switches. I don't completely understand everything that's going on, but I do know it sounds ace, and I want it. So I bought one. And a few other things. It's been glorious. The Metropolis is a unique powerhouse of a sequencer and quantizer in one. However, one day, I found my beloved Metropolis was making noises more like this. Isn't this supposed to be an octave? Your first instinct is to blame your oscillators. After all, analog oscillators are notorious for temperamental tuning and tracking. The second thing you might try is looking under the configuration menu. Ah, here it is. Tune and calibrate. No. These do not do what you're thinking. The tune is for setting the Metropolis to output a known note, zero volts, for the purpose of tuning oscillators to it, not for tuning the Metropolis itself. And the calibration option here is for the aux inputs. This one volt per octave needs to start somewhere though, and if it's not coming out of the Metropolis correctly, it'll wreak havoc across the rest of your system. How can we set the Metropolis to output a good one note per octave scale? The secret is back here. Now I'm going to preface all this with a couple facts. One, I have zero relationship with IntelliGel, and I can't comment on how playing with these tuning pots will affect service and support from them. Two, if you purchase your Metropolis new from the factory, the chance you need to perform these calibrations is almost zero. Three, I can't take any responsibility if you do something to screw up your beautiful module. Don't short circuits, don't shoot lightning bolts, and don't cross the streams, please. However, this is really easy. If you follow a couple simpler precautions while dealing with electronics, you'll be fine. First thing first, you need a couple simple tools. A reasonably long patch cable. Anything about 30 centimeters is probably fine, but not too long. You just don't want it to be so short that it keeps getting in the way while you're working. A voltmeter of some kind, preferably with three or more decimal places of accuracy. These handheld models will work fine, but since I have the bench equipment handy and it's easy to read, we'll use that for this example. Two alligator clip leads, or your preferred way to connect the voltmeter to your patch cable. Power to the Metropolis module. This can be done with the module half hanging out of your rack, but it's much easier and safer if you can place it down while doing the calibration. And finally, a little tiny flathead screwdriver for adjusting the trim pots. Optionally, an anti-static map to work on, but making sure you're grounded to the module at all times should be enough. And a puppy to keep you company. First, connect the probes of your voltmeter to one end of the patch cable, and connect the patch cable to the pitch output of the Metropolis. Turn on your voltmeter to measure DC, and turn on the Metropolis. Make sure to set all your sliders to zero, all the way down, your octave span to three octaves, scale to chromatic, and the root note to C, just so we know what outputs to expect. Your voltmeter should now read very close to 0.0000 volts. Here we can see that it really doesn't. So look across the top of the module and locate the bias trim pot. Using your little flathead screwdriver, adjust the bias trim pot until your voltmeter reads as close to 0.0000 volts as you can make it, being careful not to slip and touch the metal screwdriver to the circuit board. This will never be perfect and will probably bounce around a lot when you're close, but we're talking tiny fractions of a millivolt now, so it's just fine. Once that's done, move all the sliders up to the maximum. The voltmeter should now read 3.0000 volts, but again, it doesn't. This is potentially what we could have been hearing as inaccuracies in the oscillators. So now we want to locate the width trim pot right next to bias and adjust it until we see 3.0000 volts. This should be pretty stable and is easy to do. So great, we're done. Not quite. Go ahead and move all those sliders down to zero again and take a look at your voltmeter. It's not as close to 0000, 000 volts as it used to be, is it? It's okay. Just adjust bias one more time and get it as close to 0.0000 volts as you can. And then repeat for moving the sliders up and adjusting width for 3.0000 volts. The adjustments should now be very small. You can repeat these steps as many times as you want, but after two times through, I find it's pretty good. You're done. You've calibrated your Metropolis and can now mount it back in your rack. Shut down all the power supplies, disconnect the patch cable, turn off your voltmeter, and then connect back up to your synth voice of choice. You may now find your oscillators are out of tune, but we can be sure the Metropolis isn't the cause, and in fact you can now use a Metropolis as a voltage source for tuning everything else in your rack. 
Whether you've just bought a used Metropolis that isn't performing up to spec, or have just been using yours for many, many years and it needs a tune-up, I hope this video has been able to help you. Please click like and subscribe for more noodling videos, comment so we know you're out there, but most of all, keep on noodling.